Goes for 12. We should know from watching Jeff Fennick fight Azuma Nelson that when they come out of Australia mad, they can fight and they can take an awful lot of punishment. Our hats were off to Jeff Fennick, and now our hats have got to be off to Troy Waters after just two rounds. Nor is showing a suspect chin. Is he looking ahead to Reggie Johnson, Julian Jackson, and Julio Cesar Chavez? You know, once again, we're talking about Troy Waters, not a Julian Jackson, not a Roy Jones. And what you might want to look at now again is, will this consider, will he be considered pound for pound the best getting dropped like that by a fighter of this caliber or lack of caliber? And not being able to put him out after hitting him so many times. He's, he's just had his way. Look at this. The referee is leaning in there. Again, Waters getting pummeled to the face but refusing to go down. And that referee just looks like he wants to stop the fight, which would cause a riot right now. Terry got hit a low shot, too, that bothered him a little bit and may still be bothering him. Terry has been hit a lot of low shots. Blood streaking from the face of Troy Waters. Uppercut. Oh, body shots by Norris. He won't go down. It's incredible what a good chin can do for a man. He may very well be on the brink of getting beaten out, but he had an unbelievable shot just a round ago at being one of the biggest upsets in history. What an incredible display of intestinal fortitude by Troy Waters of Australia. And make no mistake, he's still throwing punches, and they're low, and they're bothering Terry Norris. Who doesn't stop fighting? We heard that Waters was a tough kid, but this is incredible. He's redefining tough. No blow there by Waters. Got away with it. This referee just doesn't see low at all. He looks okay now. He looks better now than he did a little while ago. But it's going to be interesting to see. Will Terry Norris punch himself out, or will he be able to keep cool? He goes down for the second time. He just smiled at referee Marty Dakin and said, let's continue. Look at him. Look at him. And that was the result of a wild punch. But the point is, he's punching with everything he's got. Like Bobby said, he got up in good shape. He did. He got up in better shape than he had been while he was standing a few moments ago. And he is still trying. Why it's going to be just a matter of time with this much punishment, though. They're going to have to stop it sooner or later. Troy Waters absorbing an amazing amount of punishment. But as soon, as long as he keeps coming back, they cannot stop this. He, he keeps coming back and fighting. His face is falling apart. As Bobby said at the beginning, this is what it looks like in five rounds. His face will fall apart. Well, it is. It's coming apart. was coming as the other one went right a right hand landing perfectly and you know Bobby when you're throwing one and you get one that's when it hurts you watch right here you see Troy's feet is up in the air he's off balance he gets caught but it was a sharp crisp right hand but some of the other blows he had taken flush much heavier much more damage right Bobby and, and he got up as you pointed out in much better shape because he wasn't in that kind of throw it was like an off balance he got hit in, in midair but his, feet, his feet were in, his unbalanced. face is coming apart Bobby on, wants, under both hey, eyes and under hey, the brow hey, let's listen come on all right. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. One guy is on him. Let's go. Marty, I don't want to go. Look, look, this guy wants to quit. He wants to quit. Really? It's all over. You heard the words, I don't want to go from that corner. And Terry Norris retains his WBC Super Welterweight Championship against a game and courageous Troy Waters of Australia. And, and Lupe Aquino came right up there, and Terry Norris came right to the ropes. I thought he was going to go over and congratulate Troy, and instead he issued a challenge, and he's looking like it's getting ugly between Lupe Aquino and Terry Norris. Terry Norris, I wouldn't say, would be in any hurry to get in a fight after that little imbroglio. Well, I'll tell you, the verbal assaults will continue. It's, it's just evident. A fighter who wants to be pound for pound the best around, and I think Terry Norris is one of them, but maybe not the best. 
And Bobby, you hear the crowd reaction. They are not happy with the decision as the referee stops the fight. Prior to the stoppage of the fight, when he brought in the, the doctor, you could hear the corner of Trey Waters pleading to the physician, one more round. Give us just one more round. Well, I'll tell you, I think Troy Waters' stock was like Toys R Us years ago. It was pennies, and now it's skyrocketed and split. He just, he just made such an impressive showing here in the loss that he'll be back in this country, and he'll be back on Showtime probably, too. Yes, indeed. Troy Waters with an astounding performance here, even though it ended at the end of round number three. Put on an amazing effort here against the champion Terry Norris by withstanding a tremendous amount of a punishment. Now Terry being hugged by his wife. As Norris goes to 35 and 3 with uh, 21 knockouts. But this, uh, one of the more difficult affairs of his career. It reminds me a little bit of the fight Julian Jackson had with uh, a relative no name, and, and Troy Waters is a relative no name, although ranked. And this fella that uh, Julian Jackson fought wasn't even ranked. He got hit a few shots, and you know, every now and then, if you get a little too confident when you're that good, you leave yourself open for some serious trouble. 